Welcome to my Minecraft train switching station. I wanted a train station that uh, allowed me to have my cart sit there and wait for me to get in and then launch it and that could switch me out to multiple tracks. So what you're seeing here is my incoming tracks all go to that one track and on the way out they come up here and each track is individually switched out. And you can see under here that I'm using redstone torches to power the switching. Underground there's wiring and I'll show you that in a little while. So basically I've got four outgoing tracks. You click the button and the light above it lights up to tell you which one is selected. Then you get in the cart, press the button, and wait for the booster to launch you. In order to get some of that switching done, I used the uh, southwest rule. Uh, thanks to Almighty Bob's tutorials for teaching me uh, how the trains worked in the game. Uh, basically, when a track intersects with another track, uh, the Minecraft carts are going to favor going south or west. And I use that all over the place as I uh, merge tracks together. So down in my mine here, I've got the same sort of booster launching system. Let's click the button and have it take us back up to the top. So now that we're back, let's take a look in detail. You'll see my cart won't start until you actually get in it. You press the button and the cart won't move. What I did is I put a stone pressure plate under there so it won't activate until you are in the cart. And what I've done in, in the background here is I've got an AND gate that connects the button with the pressure plate. So when both the button and the pressure plate are on, it triggers my RS NOR latch. There's my booster carts right there. Now the RS NOR latch is the heart of my entire train system. Uh, it basically, once it gets set, it keeps its signal high until it gets reset. Here's the reset line going back to the pressure plate. And so you'll see up here on my booster, it's a booster loop and that piece of track is switched, powered by this torch here. And when you press the button and are sitting on the pressure plate, it launches the booster to the outer loop and sends you on your way. What you see here is the back of my buttons uh, for switching tracks. Up top here are the wires coming in to power the lights above the buttons. There you see they're on rails that are carried above the rest of the circuitry. When you press a button, the signal goes out. I basically have two RS NOR latches uh, representing my uh, two digits and each button either sets or resets the appropriate latches to give me four combinations coming out of them. There's latch one, here's latch two, and then out, out of the latches I, I uh, condense them into uh, four wires, one for each track. Uh, so you'll see here that only one track is powered, the other ones are turned off, and that controls which tracks are going to be switched. I uh, rise the signal up with those torches there, and then I run them back on these rails uh, back up to the rest of the system. I decided to go vertical rather than horizontal to, to save a little bit of space, but it took a, quite a bit of vertical room. I was a little surprised how big it ended up being. So here you can see the, uh, the wires go up top here to power the lights. And then I originally had them going over the roof, but I decided it looked better if I ran the wires underground to power the tracks. So all four wires now run underground, all the way out to the track. And you'll see a lot of these knot gates along the way that keeps the signals going. Uh, wires only go 15 blocks in the game. And so now we get to the torches that are actually powering the tracks. Um, there's a couple torches above them, so you'll see here that the one that's turned off is actually the selected track right now and we'll pop back up to the surface and I'll click the buttons and give you a, another quick look at them. So you'll see we'll press this tower one, wait a second and it lights up. There's a bit of a delay because of how long the circuits are 
and whichever one you press the button lights up and then once your destination is picked hop in the cart click the launch button and we head out for our ride uh, thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed the video